A typical day for us usually starts about 6.30. Uh, we get in here, we start uh, filling Gatorade out in the hallway for the guys to hydrate themselves. Uh, our student athletic trainer starts setting up the practice fields, uh, depending on whether we're going to be on the grass or in the stadium. Uh, my day starts about, well, I get here at 6.30, but at 7 o'clock I have a staff meeting with the coaches and I give them updates on any of the injured football players and any limitations they may have or follow-ups with the doctors. Um, the guys start coming in around 7 to get taped, do treatment and rehab before practice. Um, and so we're, we're doing everything from taping ankles to wrists to uh, getting guys heated up, ultrasound, stretching, uh, anything that they need. With ultrasound, there's two, there's a couple different settings we can put it on. We can do thermal effects, which are, are deep heating. Uh, you know, if you're working on a, a chronic tendonitis or a, a deep muscle strain, uh, you can also use non-thermal effects, uh, which are going to called pulsed ultrasound, uh, where you're just trying to stimulate the cells to get it to heal quicker, um, break up any scar tissue adhesions. So there's a couple different ways you can set that up. Uh, it just depends on the, the injury and the time frame, whether it's an injury that happened yesterday or whether it's a chronic injury that's been going on for several weeks, maybe even several months. Typically, we won't do a lot of long-term rehab in the mornings. We typically do that in the afternoon. Uh, we get out to practice uh, probably about 15 to 20 minutes before everybody gets out there just to make sure everything's set up. And as the guys come onto the field, they may need some last minute wrist taping, finger taping, just kind of tidying up a few things. Um, during practice, typically what I'll do is I'll have our staff go pick a group of guys and they'll go with them. So we'll have a student with our wide receivers and uh, our grad assistant with the offensive lineman and kind of on down throughout the team. And I will typically take, take the guys who are doing long-term rehab, maybe coming back from an ankle injury or toe injury or a knee injury and, and putting them through functional drills, either running or doing agilities, uh, things that are going to help benefit them to get them back on the field and playing and, and doing what they need to do as an athlete. The big thing for us during practice right now going through camp is to keep these guys hydrated, uh, trying to force them to drink fluids, trying to keep them cool so that they can have their best practice possible uh, for the betterment of the team. At the end of the practice, we're, we're handing out Gatorades, again, trying to just reinforce hydration and doing everything from setting up cold tubs so they can get in, try to get their legs back and recover. And, and recover. Um, and then after that, you know, we'll do a quick post-practice treatment, guys who just need some ice or if they need a quick massage on a hamstring. Uh, let them go to lunch and then they'll come back around one, starting around 1, 1.30. Uh, and typically what I'll do is bring the long-term rehab guys in. So those guys who are rehabbing from an ACL or shoulder injury who've had surgery. Um, we do a lot of our rehab in here, but I like to do a lot of rehab also in the weight room because the whole goal is to get them back to being strong. And once they go to meetings, we'll sit down and we'll do paperwork. Uh, you know, putting in notes, setting doctor's appointments, um, just trying to do all the little things behind the scenes that the guys, um, they don't have time to do. After, after meetings, they may come through and get another round of treatment uh, just so they can get as much treatment in as possible, try to get them healthy and keep them out there on the field and keep them being a productive athlete.